"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, "'not a creature was willing to put on makeup or lipstick or do her hair "'or show her face on video. "'But this is episode four of Carol Cook's Figgy Pudding. "'Bring the strips and half cup of water to a boil. "'When the liquid is almost evaporated, "'add half a cup of raisins.' From one third a cup of cognac. Okay, y'all, remove the heat, get a pot cover handy. This next step is freaking me out a little bit. My heart is pounding because I have to set this thing to flame and let it be on fire. Why is nothing happening? Right, here we go again. Do I need to get further on in there? Oh, no, not quite. Okay, wait, no. Is that non-alcoholic rum and cognac? What? I mean, seriously. All right, well, I'm just gonna go around for about two minutes with this lighter and maybe <laughs> it'll have the same effect. Two minutes later, maybe there's an invisible flame. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out. <laughs> And now we whisk it. Obviously I need to get a hands-free device to hold this thing. Suggestions would be great because this is such ridiculous. And then we whisk this together. Next you switch to a rubber spatula and stir in two cups of breadcrumbs. The recipe calls for a baguette, a white baguette. I accidentally picked up a whole wheat one. I didn't know they exist so I'm using my kids wonder bread, because it's white. Yay! Let's try to set this thing on fire again. Let's see what happens. Nope. What? Just a big old nope. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that came out way faster than I thought it would. Yeah. Okay. Now this next part is about as weird as a flame to me. You put in two paper towels, and fill up a pot with hot water, and then I'm going to put this bunt into this, boil the water, steam it for two hours. So bring me some figgy pudding. So bring me some figgy pudding. So bring me some figgy pudding. Na la da da da. Oh, look, it's an actual fire this time. Fancy. The, uh, the pigs have kind of a bitterness to them. Mm. Like it? Yeah.